The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Thursday, February the 24th. We're looking at the market down, Dow's down 765 at 32,366. The S&P, let's run the numbers, there's a ton to talk about. Uh, got questions, statements, all sorts of things. S&P now is also down sharply. It's down, not as sharp as it was, but it's still down 78 points at 41.47. Made a low today of 41.14. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is very important. We've gone to leg B in the weekly chart, and I am going to take a moment in a little while to talk about this particular candle. And just to answer questions, um, we'll do all of that as I, as I go through these charts. Here we go. QQQ, one, two, three. Uh, QQQ is the weakest of the lot. Uh, it's been in a kind of a down, it's been in a sharp down phase in the last two months, but really it started that back at three sixty eight point forty eight. What was that? I think it was. So we, this is February, January, December, November at the November high. And we've got all these H patterns uh, in place. And we are looking at the weekly charts still very weak. Uh, the daily chart says that there's some there's some residual strength. How it handles trying to get back to the 334, just 10 points higher area to retest that left side over the 24th is going to be important. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. This is the one we're going to follow very closely because this is the one I think, for me at least, it's going to tell us a lot about any form of rotation into this first quarter of 2022. Um, how fund managers are perceiving the small caps. Are there small caps that are still uh, looking as if they have upside potential or we're really looking at a general a, a consensus, a market consensus that almost everything's going to go down. Do we have singular moves in sectors, etc.? I'll talk about that and we'll talk about it in the, for the next few days because we won't know for sure for a little while. We're looking at the SMH as a semiconductor index, which is down seven at 250.80. That same pattern, the dreaded H pattern, this is F slash B. And this will be G slash C right here, G slash C in the daily chart with the arch formation. I'm going to talk about this arch formation in a moment. A number of people have talked, uh, mentioned it, uh, both subscribers and listeners to TFNN. I'll talk about it in a moment. I don't want to take too much time yet at this point. And I want to get through all the numbers. This is key, the XLK, which is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, peak D in the monthly chart, peak D in the daily from 177.04 the 28th of December, the all-time high, and now it's trading at 144. That's 30 points. It's about 28 or something like that percent decline. Bear market phase, but we're looking at monthly charts. When we close on Monday at 4 o'clock, we're going to be able to assess going from Monday into about Wednesday, the, the, the real start of the month of March. A, lot, a lot's going on here. I need to talk about that, so I want to finish these up as quickly as possible. I want to show you something even more important, and that is gold. Now, the question came in, um, is gold game? Actually, a lot of questions were sent my way about uh, crude oil and gold. So I said if gold is able to get into the 148, 152-ish area, that, that I would consider a breakout in the daily and the weekly chart, and that would help the monthly. And what I did is I drew in the Chapman methodology from the low that was made, the left side low of, that was in 2021, March was it? Yep, March low of, now remember the numbers I'm giving you, this is a continuous contract. Those numbers will change because it gets smoothed out. But the pattern, nothing else but the numbers get smoothed out. So I'm going to call the number that I've got right here, 1687.3 in March of 2021. It ran up. I use it. I'm, I've, I've, in some of the charts, I like to keep the FIB, FIB numbers when I can. Uh, um, this is retracement, etc. 
And look what happened. This is acting really well within the Fib numbers, and it goes to a slightly lower low after a bounce to the, uh, uh, what was it, one point? Can't see it from here, but it, it bounces to the 19, just over 1900, comes all the way back to just under 1700, and then starts this move up that goes gray peak A, gray peak B. I should still call it a gray C, but once you get to C, I have to call it with the, with the nine period moving average still so strong. It hasn't crossed negative at all since it crossed, since the nine period moving average crossed the 14 period moving back in. June of 2019 was around about the 1400 level. That green nine period moving average hasn't once closed under. And that's the reason why I said gold is now in play because it's changing from the daily to the now more mm, expansive, larger time frames. So this is now a very big move and a stop that this chap wave, I made it blue. Usually I make it green, but you wouldn't see it. Right here in the right side chart, the monthly gold continuous contract, monthly chart stopped right at, just above actually, now it's below, chap wave inside wedge target resistance line. Now, yeah, a number of people have uh, asked me about my CD. Uh, so, uh, uh, one person said, you know, I can, I can get a, a CD player for like 25 or 30 bucks. So whatever you... Yeah, yeah, if we can get your CDs, even though I don't have it on my laptop, I can always um, have one separate. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be thinking about what I can do, see if I can make some more CDs of those. My Chapman Wave, um, that was my CD book back in 2005, I think it was, uh, called Introducing Chapman Wave Methodology. Um, and this is leg D in the monthly chart of the weekly chart. And look, let me show you something here, how resistance levels, you can use FIB, you can use all the sorts of things you want, but it's so easy to use the previous price point. Look, the previous price point in the weekly chart was on the 8th, the week of the 8th of January, 2021. It pops up to 1980. And what was the high today in this? I made a left side, right side price time chart to the midpoint of the 4th of June of 2021. And I had it to this month, that this is the month, sorry, this week, this is the week that it should try to tackle that high that was made right there on the 8th, the 8th of January, week of the 8th of January, 1980. So these things are all put together in the potpourri of Chapman Wave methodologies that we have. So this is leg D, but you remember, I'm very uncomfortable with leg Ds that become peak D underneath the previous high, it means that you still need a lot of consolidation. So with, with, in that context, I'm saying gold is in play. It's in play as a fear factor. A lot of what we're going to see over the next week is going to be informative for the entire month, month of March, I believe, because of the, the Russia-Ukraine situation. I'm going to talk about that just briefly in a moment, just stepping it aside there. Um, anyone in the last couple of weeks has been talking about it. Um, uh, certainly in the administration uh, has not, I don't, I don't remember ever hearing the circling of uh, the, your Ukraine, Ukraine in this particular manner. So all I can say is that I'd like to look at the charts and say, the charts are telling me this and telling me that. And the pullback that we've got in gold and uh, the, the crude oil holding tell, in oil tells me that this leg D in the uh, gold contract daily it's kind of an emotional response, but gold is in play as something that you can change upside and pull back. And I'll talk about that as soon as I show you this crude oil chart. Look at this crude oil, it's going to go below that break touching 100. It's ready to put about crude. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Trapp and Tiger Initial Sour. And they're just uh, the Dow's trying to come back. Mark's trying to come back a little bit. But look at this. You know how I talk about a rectangle, a narrow rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this. Since 22, that's uh, 10 o'clock. Last night, we've been in this trading range from 41, about 41.64, kind of where we are right now, down to this low of 41.01. And here we are, 60 something, 70 points above that low, starting in the 10 minute chart, a leg D with a MACD good, strong, uh, um, stochastic at 93. And a couple of questions came in uh, early on. Uh, should should I be should, should I be buying the uh, two three times short uh, instruments? And I said no no a lot of a lot has been done. Just if you want, and what I did for subscribers is we bought just a one to one short position, small short position on one of the indices because it's an insurance policy, and I'm giving it a rather wide stop. I just need to know that. Today was not a crash day. I didn't think it would be a crash day. I knew it could be a serious uh, decline. The day is young. Anything can happen. There could still be a waterfall cascade to the downside. But at the same time, so let me get out of this. Let me do a couple of things because it's all part of really important. Uh, I just need to finish. So uh, um, Kevin Wright said, what about crowd? That was an easy buy in this situation. Then nothing is an easy don't. You know, it's like when I was playing uh, playing tennis the other day with this friend uh, who's really quick. Uh, he, um, you know, he's, he's, he's my age, so you know, he's, we both run like crazy, like teenagers when we're on the on the court. Um, but uh, at the same time, I, he missed three. I, I finally, after two years, my 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 rotator cuff. I've just been very easy with it in services for a long time. So I've over the last three weeks, I've been increasing and I finally got most of my my first serve, really fast serve back in. Doesn't always go in, doesn't always go in, but it's, the speed is there. And uh, Jim missed the returns and he said, oh, easy, easy, easy. And I, I said to him, you know, nothing's easy unless you get it right. And then you can turn around and say, oh, that was easy, even if it was difficult. So there isn't an easy trade at all. And one of the things I wanted to show is that PA, so CrowdStrike, um, 
Let me just, this, I've got Palo Alto Networks here. Really big move up 9% today, up 44 at 522.17. Look out, went right to the 200 period moving average, and look out, bounce. Now, I have these on my, li my list as potentials for um, subscribers. I don't think it's going to be easy because, yes, yeah, cyber, I've been talking about cyber. Why isn't cyber screaming to the upside? Look at CrowdStrike. You just, you got to pick the right ones. CrowdStrike goes from the 300 area down to the 150s. It hit this arch formation, the dreaded H pattern, successful so far. 150.02 was the low on the 24th of January. 153.50 was the low today, and it's up 7%, up 12 at 173.87. Easy trade. Anytime you could have said, oh, the cyber stock's easy trade. We tried it a couple of times. Uh, not always easy because it can go, and then it suddenly turns around, does the H pattern and fails. So I'm just saying to you, be real careful on at this particular point about the short side. Remember, what if... Ukraine. What, what if um, the president of the Ukraine, who was a comedian once upon a time, is has has no sense of um, he's been in it because he's been in the U Ukraine, but he's never necessarily been a leader over years and years and years and decades with the experience that's needed certainly to deal with someone like Putin. What if all of a sudden he says, you know, I don't want my people to die. I, I think uh, maybe we just need to uh, secede or uh, you know, just say yes to Russia. I'm not saying you do that. I'm just saying we've got so many unknowns. Not only that, the pipelines that we import from Russia, what do they think they're going to do? You think they're going to keep the, the exports, they need the money, but he's prepared in many ways. So I had always said, watch the left hand when, when uh, Putin's talking, but you know it's the right hand. Watch the right hand because you know it's the other hand that's going to do the dastardly deeds that he does. And that's the thing here. So I'm saying nothing's easy under these conditions. And I want to take an, I, I want to spend just a moment now talking about this dreaded age. Yes, cyber is in play, but it's only in play in the short term. I don't have signals yet if I go to hack which is the ETF. Look at this. It went to a lower low. It's down from the 68 level uh, just you know, four months ago. And it's down. And I've got this. There's no other way I can count it. This is a peak C in the monthly chart. Got it down today at the low of 50. So, you know, 62 to 50, you say, ah, big deal, 12 points, 20%. Uh, 20%? <laughs> That's a lot. So all I'm saying is, Nothing is easy at this particular point. You, I, I said to subscribers for weeks and weeks, let's raise cash, raise cash. We've got the cash. We've got certain positions that are working at. I mean, you, you think anything's easy. Where would you say the dollar is with, with the, with the um, gold screaming up like this? The dollar is at 97.35. Basil's dollar. We've been along the dollar since, nine, since 2018 at 90.07 via the UUP. So this is now a leg C to the upside, but it's really a gray leg C, because if we go above the high that was made in the dollar index, that was made right there with a doji candle high of 97.44, today we went to 97.37, another five cents higher. And I might have to think that this is most probably a, a, a continuation into leg D going to a leg E, and here again, look at the monthly chart, a weekly chart. There's the target that we have, the left side, right side, price time match. It went exactly there to 97.80 uh, back on four months ago. They actually missed it by a fraction. Yep, 97.44. And today it's retesting that high. So these are patterns that we like to look at. I can talk about patterns. I'm going to stop for a moment because I got some, some emails uh, and and there's oh another one Jim question question for today with uh, with indices which indices has potential for the biggest downdraft from here looking to add shorts and want to focus efforts Jim so um, Jim I'm going to get to all of that let me just do a couple of things because if we're looking at patterns the patterns that we want to look at the most important on the way down and when I did my last webinar I said the H pattern is the one that we're going to be looking at the Chapman wave dreaded H. And once again, I'll try to figure out something with my CD. Um, it's 400 and something pages. It's got all these different chapters. Uh, but but really, uh, there's very little 
to this day in the CD that has changed. But, and I'll mention that uh, 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 periodically, what's changed. But mostly over the period of time, I've used that nine period exponential moving average. I've used some other things that have been added to it. But the pattern that I'm looking at here, I've got the dollar. This is the Y formation where you retest. You have a move up and you make a cup formation. You retest the top. How does it break the top or does it break the top? Does it hold? And the same thing, on the, and this is the positive Y formation. And this is the dreaded H, the red one. And what happens when you break the left side low? And that's what we're going to be looking at. So let me move this away. And then I will read uh, this, uh, a couple of emails that are. I'll be back. That was a chapter. Like, so I was not down back again, down six. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I was in the den. The question came up about uh, Bitcoin, and I said, I think Bitcoin is going to become more of a trading, intraday trading vehicle. I haven't got any buy signal yet to say that it's going to break to the upside at this particular point. And then I did a quick 10 minutes of the, of the Bitcoin uh, futures and look the rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience and it's been stuck between about 36,000 and the low today of 34,300 uh, and you had your chapter wave low right there as the technical started to improve peak A, peak B, peak C1, peak C2 remember that's an addition it's something I discussed in the, on the, my CD a long time ago but I really have made a big deal of it we used to have someone 
from uh, where was he from? Uh, some ski, some ski place. Uh, oh, used to do the used to do currencies all the time. Just blanking out right now. I thought of him the other day. Haven't heard from him for a little while. And then I said we use the few, the euro dollar as a test for the peak C one C two, and there were just tons of them. Peter, that's it, Peter. Um, and when look here again, so now the new peak A peak B peak C peak D goes to an E just barely above the the rectangle formation, and now it's falling back, and it's only gone to an E in all this time. And it says this is not great action. And uh, so yes, I think as a trading vehicle. All right, and let's just get to the story that I want to do uh, right now. Questions came in. I've got a lot of questions. I don't want to. I don't want to lose my focus. Here we go. So i uh, move over to the Dow. There's the dreaded H. Uh, in fact, uh, yes, let's do Bitcoin. Let's just be as current as possible. The low that was made in Bitcoin futures on the 24th was 32865. It goes to a peak D. Remember in Chapman Wave methodology, a buy signal should go to a, um, a peak D, four higher peaks, and then other things can happen. Stalled right at the 200 period moving, another addition that I didn't have on the CD. Arch is over in the dreaded H pattern. Why is it called the dreaded H? Because if it takes that left side low, it can go a lot lower. And what does it do today? So it's 34,300. So, so far, this is successful. The MACD is only now turning, crossing negative. Stochastics are 24% turning down, could go to uh, uh, teens or single digits. On balance form says it's really oversold, could have a, a bounce at any point. But the nine period just recently, two days ago, three days ago, crossed negative. And that says there's a lot of resistance in the 40,113 area. So dreaded H, right? So I got an email saying, hi, Basil. I'm, oh. I'm a big fan of, of your work. For me, out of all the chart patterns that occur, I think the dreaded H pattern has been the most important one to recognize. It helps me with risk management and also as a point of reference to watch if it goes to the lowercase m to test the left side low for potential support or failure. I've never heard anyone else talk about that, but it has helped my trading investing so much. Keep up the awesome work. <laughs> Sincerely, James. I appreciate that, James. Uh, and that kind of corresponds with a, a couple of other people uh, talking about the H pattern, um, um, that's right, Peter from Park City. I, I miss him in the den. He hasn't been around for quite a while. Uh, he used to add a lot. Um, so a couple of questions. So I, I was talking about my CD, and I just wanted anything in, in the Tiger Den. Um, let's see. Uh, Wild, Wildfire says, I have Basil CD. Um, uh, and it then goes on to say, gold got way ahead of itself today. Um, and... Pat says, oh, Pat says, uh, I didn't see that. All right, well, I'll, I'll go back to it. Pat says something, I, I missed it. Uh, oh, Pat, Pat said, I have Basil CD. And then Wildfire said, I have Basil CD. Uh, Pat says, I have Basil CD uh, disc. Uh, excellent. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I just wanted to see what the other questions were that were relating to what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Oh, then in the den, there was a, a te just a text to me to say those H patterns right now are absolutely irrelevant. Yes, they are. So uh, a couple of other things is um, the 300 period moving average. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Ted, let me just go back to this chart in the background. Yeah, I'm just I hope I don't forget it. I'm just going to go here. Is this what I had? Yeah, so here's your 300 period moving average. We're talking about the SPY. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. Sorry. Get this back. Got so many charts. And I'll hide some of them because I don't want to confuse myself. So I sometimes, ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so here's the 300 period exponential moving average. Remember the SPY? It went to it exactly three days ago, we're talking about it. And I said it sat there. But, um, a couple of things are important about this particular using what I had said was how you use an indicator or a tool is more important than the tool itself. So in this particular instance, what I'm saying to you is don't stop using the 300 period exponential moving average. Was this a smooth or is it exponential? Uh, so SMA, this is this is the simple moving average. Don't stop using it just because it fell. You might be using it and getting an incredible amount of information. It's the brilliance of your getting the information out of whatever it is 
that produces the results. So be as diligent as you can. Don't throw something away. What I do is I often people talk to me about uh, it, who was it um, another Tom had mentioned he uses different moving averages uh, rather than my nine and fourteen, and it works great for him. I tried it out and I really I like it very much. I just find that the comfort that I have with the slightly longer durations are better for me. I respect that. And, and Tom, I will be getting in touch with you. You know, it's been a busy time about those uh, projections, etc. So, okay, I wanted to talk about that just to get that out the way. Uh, that, that, that. I wanted to talk about, yes, hack or crowd that you were speaking about, Kevin, crowd. Oops, I typed it on the chart. Yes, it's important. But even most importantly, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, where are we? So this is where we are. As far as I'm concerned, for subscribers, we've raised as much cash as possible. We've got out of some of our really big cap stocks, that uh, big price stocks that, that had fabulous gains. We took lots on the way off, still kept a core position, got out of that. There's one that's left, actually two, but one I'm not touching. That's the IAI, which we got. Some subscribers were able to get it right a day after the low in 2020, the 24th of March. I, I don't really, we'll, we'll trade around that. But this is telling me, and Schwab, and, and the Denny is not here today, but Jeff was saying Schwab looks very vulnerable. I said, not yet. But then what it did is this incredible double top, 95.62 on the 14th of January, pulls back sharply to the 84s, bounces back to 96.24 cents, to four cents. So what we're talking about is, Within half a dollar, it gets to the previous high on the 9th of Feb, and then it plunged. And I said, remember, the cup formation, the reason why we didn't go back into Schwab at all, is that there could be a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside if it significantly takes out that cup formation. And that's exactly what we're doing. Where did it stop today? On the 200-period moving average, it's trading down 286 at 79.69. But I am calling this a leg F, no alternate count in the weekly chart. I am so far calling it a leg D in the monthly chart. I have to put this together. Now's the time that I want you to do that. Look, let me show you something. So we've raised cash. We've got certain positions. We're still along the dollar. We're along, um, we're along uh, gold uh, stock. We're along the, oh, I didn't do this. I have to do it before I forget because I was asked about it. The DBA, remember we've had this for a very long time. This is the DBA. Whenever I got interviewed by Tom, I said, you know, Tom, I think those, those uh, commodities like wheat, soy, corn, they seem to be really working their way higher. Well, today might be a culmination of, of a top, which is the red bar, 21.9. We're along from 13 to 67. 21.90. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So we're looking at the DBA, which is the DB Agricultural Fund. And within it, we've got wheat. Well, wheat screened into leg D, a gap up. I think this is a, um, yeah, wait a minute. This is, uh, right, at uh, 934 and three quarters and a stuck limit up, I believe. Leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, and leg G says C in the monthly. Wheat continuous contract. It could be, it could be just like gold. It could be that all of a sudden you find out that it is uh, um, just an emotional move to the upside and that, maybe it's not quite so bad and it could pull back. But in the meantime, it has broken out. The 9 EMA um, is way above the 14. And that says 896 to 864 is really important support over the next week. But look, soybeans, soybeans, leg E and a pullback intraday. It's now up 10 and a quarter at one, 1681 and a quarter. It hit 1759 and a quarter in leg E, leg D. I had this as a price time match here in the uh, weekly chart and this oh this is a week early in a, a week earlier going above that high that was made way back in uh, may or june of uh, 2021 and so that's that says that and yet the technicals are still very strong but the weekly says that the on bounds one is a tad overbought uh, as is the daily so there could be a bit of a pullback but i have Soybeans continuous contract monthly is only in leg B. And I said, though everything's pointing to the soybeans going above that left side high. So that's going to be important. Uh, it's a first notice for March grains, metals, and CBOT interest rates of Monday, February 28th. Oh, I don't need that. So I'll just close that out. Okay. Um, okay. Next thing we're looking at is corn or corn, as they say here in the Boston area. Look, leg F in the daily chart could be an alternate count. But I don't know if it's limited up, but it's a 30, up 31 and a quarter. A seven, no, it's not. It's, it's trading. 712 and a quarter. This is important, and that's talking to inflation. That's why I'm saying what we're seeing now is different to many other times. Remember, for the history of the markets, I like to always think it's just been my de rigueur. The thing that I go to all the time is that when the equities, especially the, the, the big cap equities that uh, the fund managers have, when they start to turn down sharply, Almost always, the rule, and I always make a joke about this, I say the, the volatility, meaning the stock market weakness, the volatility in equities usually sees funds migrate to the so-called safety of bonds. What you can see is the so-called safety of bonds. You've had such a big decline in so many of these huge big caps, and yet the TLT is telling us from the pattern right now that interest rates still remain high. I don't know what's the Fed's going to do. How can they pump money and keep rates low to say, well, I don't know, this is going to be very complicated for them. So we have a multifaceted area of um, concerns that we don't have one day results. In other words, you haven't got this big thing like gold is pulled back sharply, but it's not like a one day thing. It's here for a little while because it's gold is the fear factor icon that, that money geopolitically, economically, around the world, people gravitate to for safety. 
there they do go. Now what we're looking at also is uh, high-grade copper. I never did high-grade copper. High-grade copper is in the range. It hasn't broken down, hasn't broken up. It's actually holding well. CCJ is um, chemical, I believe. Yeah, chemical core, uranium energy. A little pop-up here. I'm keeping my eye. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm keeping my eye on the uranium stocks. I mean, we're not doing anything. I'm just keeping my eye on it. I'm keeping my eye on the cyber security area. I'm looking to see where will money uh, flow, what will money do, and where will it go if the market continues to, to maintain this lower range and what sectors are going to be viable. And that's what I want for my subscribers. I want to be able to get DNN. What is DNN? Oh, I remember DNN. DNN is uh, denizen mining. Yeah, denizen mining. Uh, yeah, is that, oh, is that copper? I, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, I, as far as I'm concerned, just keep it on your list. It's at the 200 period moving average is moving at 1.31. Uh, not many people want to trade stocks at 131, $1.31. But if it starts to move at 140, it could very quickly go to the 160, 170 last highs. So keep an eye on this. Yeah, if you want to be trading it, just don't get too carried away. Uh, nuclear and uranium story. Okay, uh, question I had about about the, yeah, okay, S-A-V-A. -A. So this is very interesting. Yes, Sava, you've got straight up, there's the Eiffel Tower. Sava is Cassava Sciences, uh, Biotech, Alzheimer's mostly, uh, many other areas, but that's where it mostly goes to. 38.79, up 55 cents. This is the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. But you've got to look at the monthly, and the monthly says, not yet. But I think it's trying to build a base in the 35, it might even have to have one sneaky little slide into the 33 area. And then let's look at it together again. But I don't think it's ready for a bigger move to the upside. And I don't think in these market conditions, this is the kind of speculative area that uh, fund managers want to gravitate to unless there's news, the biotech type news. So this, that's what I'm looking at here. I think there's a lot of resistance in the 41 to 43 area, but at any point if it closes under 34, 34 fit, no, 33.50. You just got to be careful because that's the area that has been the containment for quite some time. Okay, now here we go. I wanted to show this. Oh, question radio show. I like to get to these straight away. Okay, I think all listeners would love to understand your thoughts on why the Chapman Wave letters should remain in sequence as a transition from heavy Fed funding question uh, QE and low rates migrates to higher rates and a cut off from QE. How does the wave count not get severely impacted by such a drastic change? This will be a critical understanding, be a critical understanding as we continue to watch the S&P leg B in the monthly. All right, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. Thank you for that question. And the question is, remember the Chapman wave isn't the waveform that only goes up. Yeah, the notations on the upside are in sequence or, or they could uh, have a, a rotational um, notation, an alternate notation. On the way down, it's the same thing, but I don't use, on the way down, I don't use the letters as, as a major criteria for buying at lows as I do for selling at highs in the, in the notation in the Chapman wave, number one. Number two is, it works on the way down. If I get like a Sava Biosciences made a peak F top at 146.16, peak D in the daily, and I said, got to be careful. That's how it works. So I, 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 are you, I, I'm not sure. Is the implication that it doesn't work on the downside? No, it works both upside and downside. That's number one. Number two is if you are talking about it in the larger context, I'll talk about that exactly right now. So this is the, the S&P monthly chart, black background. I've, I, I, you know, I, I used to always use black background charts, but I know so many want, people wanted to print out some of the charts that I changed to white. I miss my black background. I look at the way the yellow nine period moving average crossed underneath the, the sorry, the yellow nine period differential in the MACD crossed under the, the, uh, the longer term uh, 30, so 26 period moving average. I want to do, uh, here's the music. So this is what I wanted to show you. Because this is tomorrow's 
Technical Friday, and I'm going to spend a lot more time. You see this candle right here? And this candle is the candle of the 30th of November 2007. It was a dope, it was a chapway Roman candle at a high. One bar off the high. I'll talk about it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So this chart, I'm going to be coming back to it because this Chapway Roman candle has been one of our benchmarks for a long time. Whenever we see it, we say, just be really careful because if you go halfway into the week in a shorter time frame, there's a really good chance and you hold there for a little while in a shorter time frame, there's a real good chance you can not only retest the low, but you could actually start onto a lower low. Well, we did that. And then the very uh, uh, four months from the top, we had this huge Roman candle, and then we did it again. So that's really important to keep in mind. And that, that took us to that 66.79 March low of 2009. Remember, we actually bought the very day, the 6th of, 6th of March, we bought the diamonds. Um, at the very low. So yeah, so that's really important. Now, what we've got is we've got the Roman candle in a shorter time frame. That would be the weekly chart. We, last week, we closed more than halfway below that wick, the lower wick, and, and said that you could test the low. We've tested the low. We've broken the low. And that says now, I, I don't care whether it's a peak B or a peak A or a peak Z. The chart is saying just really be careful because you've had pretty major pullbacks when that's happened, with a pullback in a monthly chart, that becomes serious. So I'm considering on a short term, we are really oversold. So we are so oversold in so many areas, certainly in the, we're, we're ready for a pretty decent bounce. 
And I'll be discussing that balance when I come back for the show tomorrow. But in the very short term, we'll come back to this chart. Before we wrap up for the day, you're going to go to Larry Pizzavento. Great programming the rest of the day. Stay tuned. Don't forget, we start off at 9 with Tommy O'Brien. Really important show. Look, as far as I'm concerned, we're trying to rally back here. So the worst, the crash is not there. And I said, be careful, because we, if we hold at the bottom, we could go into a trading band for, the, for, for a while. What I am looking at is if... The fix in the, if the Dow down 584 is able to come back, it can't just come back and do that once. If after, most importantly, if after 310 this afternoon, Eastern time, going into the close, the Dow is better than minus 370 to the upside, that's a relief moment. And it's really important. And that should say the fix, instead of skyrocketing, actually, at this point, 